stupid. <laughs> My God. Welcome everyone to another movie reaction. My name is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond fan, and I'm once again joined by my beautiful girlfriend, <laughs> Lirit. Hi! Today we are watching 1985's A Few to a Kill, the final Roger Moore James Bond movie, one last one. Last time we uh, took a little detour by watching the unofficial Bond film that came out in the same year as Octopussy, Never yeah. Say Never Again, which wasn't necessarily the biggest success to you, but I warned you beforehand. Um, are you excited to delve back into the official series and watch one more Roger Moore movie? Yes, I hope it's not that bad as uh, a few, what was it? Never say never, never again. Never say never again. I guess the bar isn't too high for that one, so I hope at least <laughs> that movie can be defeated in your view. Um, one last thing I want to mention about Roger Moore in this film. You he's very be, old. He's older and you may notice he looks different than the six that came before this. Oh, he had like plastic surgery. That's right. Really? He oh. had plastic <laughs> surgery. You remember okay. the, um, he always had like a little mole next to his nose in all of his films. It's like a mole here. And he had that removed too. So it looks, it looks very different in this film because he got older, he had a little eye lift. So, oh, um, I never noticed. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> he doesn't have it in this one, so you won't notice it. Okay. Anymore. But <laughs> to me, it was always noticeable that it was removed in this uh, this film. But anyway, it's still Roger Moore, and it's still an official Bond film. Okay. So all the elements that you missed in Never Say Never Again are going to be back. The gun barrel, the official music. Yeah. Uh, you may, and this is just a hint, also recognize the main villain. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with the actor that will play the main villain in this film. So, okay. um, if you are interested in the full-length reaction, you can always go to my <laughs> Patreon page, become a premium supporter, sync your video up with this video and watch the whole movie together with us. Yeah. And also, if you are interested <laughs> in the SIS shirt I'm wearing, you can click <laughs> on the, the link in the description because I recently became the ambassador for the, or one of the ambassadors of the SIS uh, training gear, a really cool James Bond clothing line. Uh, go ahead and find the link in the description all the way at the bottom if you are interested to wear uh, this or many other <laughs> Bond related clothing that they are selling. It's really cool. Without any further ado, let's now delve into A View to a Kill. Sorry. You'll find out uh, during the movie. But he's fictional, that's the point. It's him again. He's back. Harry Potter. Where is it? North Pole? Close. Russia. Yeah, so Siberia. This is James Bond. Yeah. <gasps> it's a dead body. Ah. Ooh. Microchip. Microchip. Ah! They were looking also for the microchip. Yeah. Oh! Whoa. 
That's stupid. Why is he closing the hatch? What's that, like a submarine? Yeah. Ah. You're a good girl, would you, and uh, put her on automatic? Call me James. It's five days to Alaska. I would want a submarine like that. Hey! I did it also! Yeah? This is the intro we... Uh, we uh, improv we imitated. Yes. Until we dance into the fire. This is all we need. Thank goodness you're here, James. It's oh, very nice money for me. Don't you think it's a little over the top for the office? I've been trying to reach you, Arnie. Well, See his face from Siberia. Looks a bit odd. Like this. Yeah. What's that? A state of the art computerized robot. Never bother to read any memos sent from my department. You would realize that this is a prototype of a highly sophisticated oh, surveillance machine. Highly sophisticated. <laughs> Fired by an Anglo French combine, Zorin Industries. Oh, that's a real industry? No, no, that, that's why they put the disclaimer that it was not a real-life company. Oh, okay. Because there was a real-life company named Zari, and they wanted to make sure that they didn't think they were basing it on them. Oh, okay. Otherwise there was a war. Yeah, no, not a war, but a copyright war. Yeah. It's just fictional. Alright, but you have exactly 35 minutes to get properly dressed, W7. But I'm properly dressed. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with this? A horse racing. Yeah. Is that my yeah. Okay, yeah. let's see if you recognize him. Yeah. Right in the middle. But do you know the actor? Have you seen him before? American. Never far from him. Name's Mayday. Mayday, Mayday. <laughs> But did you recognize him? I think so. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure we've seen... Let me put the, the most recent movies. This is Christopher Walken. Um, you've seen Catch Me If You Can, where he plays the father of oh, Leonardo yes. DiCaprio. Yeah. That's also him. But I know him like in older days, when he's older. Yeah, he's much younger here yeah. and his hair is blonde in this movie. Yes. I've hired a detective friend of mine, Aubergine, to look into it. Aubergine? <gasps> she must take a lot of vitamins. <laughs> Perhaps Pegasus does too. Perhaps Pegasus does too. Paris! Paris! We've been there also. Yeah, together. mostly to Disneyland, but we've seen the Eiffel Tower. But we've seen the Eiffel Tower together. Mm -hmm. They're in the Eiffel Tower. Yes. This is a real restaurant. Or there is a restaurant. Is it this one as well? I don't know, but there is a restaurant in the Eiffel Tower. Another excellent choice. I'm pleased you approve, since you're paying the bill. <laughs> Monsieur Aubergine. Mm -hmm. He's the brother of uh, Monsieur Courgette. <laughs> Security oh. is oh. formidable, but the key to this mystery... He will be dead. Poof! <laughs> Poison. No. Told you. you this is, yeah, this May is uh, Mayday. That's stupid of her She's to go all the way up. <laughs> Oh, what's she doing? Oh, she's flying? What? Shoot! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> yes. Touch him! No, 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 no,
He said I'm not in service in France. Mm. Villain duo, this film. The great villains. Sinjin Smith. Sinjin Smythe, my dear. Sinjin Smythe. Oh, is that it? No, no, those are the servants' quarters. <laughs> stables over here. <laughs> you eat ya. Those are the stables? No, that, this is not a stable. Yes, it is. Yes? Just a really expensive one. <laughs> We are now very proud to bring them the football that's bigger. But they recognize him like James Bond. Oh, she. She should. Yeah. She should, but she was mostly running from him, right? Yeah, so. but you know who's chasing you, right? Yeah, that's well, what you, you would remember think. the face, that's right? That's what you would think. I would remember the face exactly. of anyone. Exactly. This would. is a very good point. I raised <laughs> this in my review as well. But she realizes later. It's like, oh, wait a minute, it was the guy that... So that's kind of stupid that she doesn't immediately recognize him. I mean, she's yeah. shooting at him. He, he yeah. was shooting at you. And she was like throwing her yeah. fishing uh, thing to him. Welcome. Welcome, sir. I'm Jenny Flex. Of course you are. I'll call a... Fun fact about her, she played the woman in Indiana Jones 3 that was the Nazi woman. Yes, I love an early morning ride. No, oh, I'm an early riser myself. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Tibbet, stop wheezing. <coughs> what a oh. room, eh? Yeah. Well, don't stand there panting, Tibbet. Start the unpacking. Here, let me help. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> only his umbrella. <laughs> Look at the bed. Yes, sir. Oh, my lord, Tibbet. Look at the state of my clothes. Oh, in the box. In yeah. The... They immediately are doing small talk. Oh, my lord. What the devil's wrong with these shoes? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> there is. I saw at the Pegasus stable. Maybe it's just a robot. Who the... who? The horse. Bomb girl. But she'd certainly bear closer inspection. We're on a mission. Sir Godfrey, on a mission, I am expected to sacrifice myself. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the job. No, it isn't. It's only a choice. <laughs> Goodbye. That way. Pointless gadget, right? Yes, it is. It's like it makes the glass less, less better to see through or something. And it looks kind of stupid too. Yeah. Enjoying our little party, Monsieur St. John Smythe? Oh, immensely, immensely. St. John Smythe. St. John Smythe. He's going to scratch it or what? Make a copy of it. Is that Louis Vuitton? <laughs> is that oh, Louis he has a copy. Or maybe. That was like a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, was it? Yes. A fellow sportsman. What about fishing? Fly casting. <laughs> he knows. By the way, the name is James St. John Smythe. I'm English. There's like a secret entrance or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for this? Quite a letdown. How was he here already? He went in before. Even like a baby.
triggered by a remote control transmitter, small enough to fit into the tip of a jockey's whip, or a cane. During the race, they give him the injections of the doping. That's how he keeps winning Aww. without coming to the test. So sad. What's this? What's he doing? I'm afraid there wasn't much help. Don't worry, it's all wrapped up. Keep your guard up, Hyla. No, but she's wearing like uh, those clothes. It's not like practical to fight in that, right? Well, maybe it is. <laughs> She's like an animal. Though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was the man at the Eiffel Tower. Mayday, where have you been? He, he, Roger Moore always said, when he, when people say, you didn't do your own stunts, he, he said, well, I did sleep with Grace Jones. That <laughs> was kind of a stunt. You slept well? A little restless, but I got off eventually. <laughs> <laughs> License to kill. What shall I say no, if they ask where I'm going? I told them you have to get the car washed. You just watched the car. All right. Make it dirty again. No, no, no. no. <laughs> just car. going to town to get the car washed. Huh? Where's she? She's in the car. She's in the car. You think so? Yes. She will follow him. Do you see? She's... With him in the car. Yeah. I knew it. I knew she was in the car. Did you know she was going to kill him? No. <gasps> Luckily, he's James Bond. Yes. <laughs> has to get in front of him. <gasps> Steady. They're activating the microchip. <laughs> this is not a, a horse friendly movie then. Oh, it's not like Never Say Never Again where they jump the horse into the water. This is just acted. It's not like he really gets injected. But at least it's believable to you, so that's good. So Godfrey, let's get... You lost, 007. Killing Tibbet was a mistake. This is what I like about Roger Moore. He's no jokes when someone's yeah. been killed. He plays it serious. You're going to drown them? Not believable. Sorry. Well, you could drown in a car. Yeah, you could. This is already. He's. No. I wonder if you could really breathe tire air when you're underwater. I don't know. So Ford Knox has most of the gold. Where are most of the microchips in the world? Silicon Valley. Silicon Near San Francisco. Valley. That's where Apple computers is today, you know, all the oh. technology. But even back then. This way. Goodbye. <laughs> 
There's in a zeppelin. Yeah. So, does anybody else want to drop out? <laughs> Literally. What have you to a kill? That's it. That's the title. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make sense. Okay. Five dollars. And he was in Indiana Jones too, the second one in the mm -hmm. opening. This guy. Yeah. And then dropped out of sight about fifteen years ago. About the same time the Zorin came the out of the woods. The Did Zorin be one of the steroid kids? So Zorin is actually a Nazi experiment with pregnant women injected with steroids, making yeah. them hyper intelligent but also psychotic. Yeah. Oh my god, now he's going to die. For real. Oh my god! Oh my god! He has no time to die. I thought it was a good joke. <laughs> no time to die? Hmm? <laughs> well, Paula Ivanova. James Bond. She, sh she, you know what I always thought? Mm -hmm. They should have used the actual KGB agent that he met in The Spy You Love Me, Triple X. Mm -hmm. They should have used her here. That would have been cool to reunite. Because he actually worked with her. In yeah. And the Russian agent. This is just someone he's supposed to have met, but we never saw. <laughs> he's in the tape from her. <gasps> Are you alright? The bubbles tickle my... Tchaikovsky! <laughs> <laughs> Detente can be beautiful. It's a fake one. <laughs> I hold you responsible. It's essential. The remaining pipelines are open on time. Mr. Held! Station 21. I have some crossing tests I want to show you. Uh, I'm running late. I can only... Who's that? It's the blonde girl from the... That he met at the horses, the Bond girl. Oh, yeah. She. That's her house or what? Yeah. Come out real slow. Just another Zoran stooge. You cut the line. Get back! What's this loaded with? Rock salt. And now you tell me. <sighs> My God, rock salt. <laughs> Take this. tell you a few things about Zorn. I'd like to heal them. I have to feed him. Are you hungry? What are you serving? Whiskers? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone in the car. Again, Mayday. Did you? In the silver mine by the San Andreas Fault. Luckily she didn't feel the documents, I guess. Yeah, but there uh, she's she's too stupid to do that. Her accomplice came here to kill you. Yeah. Then they said fire to the office. Yeah. To conceal the crime. What crime? But that means I would have to Dead. Dead. Get back. Z Bond is already looking yes, for ways out. Yes, I saw it. McCarty. I thought 
that she was going to die. In the fire? Jane! Yeah, climb! Stupid! <laughs> My God! Jane! Climb! <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you were gonna <laughs> find her in a way. I think she's. My least favorite Bond girl. I made her in my weakest one. She's even worse than Denise oh. Richards. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> and she started off so strong. Yeah. At the chateau. Climb then. Not just hang. <laughs> she got one star. <laughs> She needs to be carried. Back off, Leah, come on. And then she can stand. Right. No, she needs to be carried. <laughs> no stars for her. That's not a James Bond girl. She's th it's the movie isn't over yet. Yes, thanks. Turn around. Turn around. Look, Captain, if you check with Chuck... Oh, now she's awake! Now yeah. she's okay! <laughs> I found his body in Chinatown. Actually, Captain, I'm with the British Secret Service. The name is Bond. James Bond. Oh. And I'm Dick Tracy, and you're still Dick under Tracy. arrest. <laughs> ah! She's smart enough to do that. James, where are you going? The ladder, stupid. Luckily, American cops are always dumb in uh, Bond, f in movies, in Bond films. Remember Diamonds Are Forever in mm -hmm. Las Vegas? Of it. It's a good idea of yours. Pity you couldn't find one that fits. <laughs> fits perfectly. <laughs> I mean, Roger Moore even makes a joke about it. Like, all of a sudden, there's women, so yeah. for all. <laughs> Because he got out of the fire truck. Yes. Yeah. I never thought about that. These lead straight into this section of the San Andreas Fault. You know, Zorin just has to blast through the bottom of these lakes to, to flood the fault. Except, except right beneath us is the key geological lock that, that keeps the faults from moving at once. I wonder if the actress was aware of what she was saying. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but in, but in, in the movie, I was thinking was... the same thing. Jump. Ah! Ah! It must be a ventilation shape. Wait. Ah! There goes the map. <sighs> Mayday and my men. Yeah, a convenient coincidence. Mr. Zorn, those men are loyal to you. Ah! Even 
kills his own men. Yeah. He doesn't care. Nope. Psychopath. Yeah. What a villain, right? Yeah. He's killing his own guys. <laughs> He's enjoying it too. <laughs> He's a crazy villain. <laughs> He's really a psychopath. Yeah. Double-crossed. And it will make it look like a natural disaster in the earthquake. Increasing his value of his mic. Then we have to bring the whole thing up. But how? Get on the rig. I'll lower you. <laughs> Get on! Do you trust her? <laughs> he has to. He has no choice. It's life or death now anyway if he wants to save. She wants to save him as well. Yeah. So she turns. This is a blonde girl, not the blonde one. She's, Go away. She, uh, she changed to the side of. Yeah. She switched to the side of good. So this is a real blonde girl. It's too happy. She has really strong arms, though. <laughs> Grace Jones. I think if I would arm wrestle her, I'd probably lose. <laughs> Thank God he has her, not the blonde one. <gasps> no! Push! 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 Jump! I have to hold the brake off! Jump! Get for it for me! Oh, she's going to suicide. Sacrifice herself as a big fuck you to Max Zorin. Because he left her. Cool death, right? Yes. She was like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You leave me? I leave you. This is your plan, it's yeah. gone. <laughs> she rather dies than to see it succeed. It's kind of a cool death. Five points for her. Great villain. James! James! And they are going to kill her. Get on! Didn't notice a zeppelin sneaking up on her. <laughs> she didn't notice at all. I mean, I would be like, take her. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just go to Pola, even though the, the Russian one. <laughs> You're gonna fly over the bridge with him under there. Mm hmm. But she's just sitting there watching it. Is he? He's going to walk on. <laughs> right, brother. Do it. Do something. My God. Deserve your star. <laughs> she is. She's gonna try something. Stop it! Go get him. Me? <laughs> Me? She's not completely useless. She took out two of them. No! Uh. Kill! Now them drop! <laughs> Bye! James! James! James, look out! What a crazy person. There they go. Boof! But how are they going to get off? There's never a cab when you want one. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Drop this. Okay. Mm. 
that. Cleaning up a few details. Oh, James. Only good for one thing, right? Uh. And that was the final time we saw Roger Moore as Bond. Until we dance into the fire. So that was a view to a kill. <laughs> We've just finished watching it. And um, I would immediately like to ask you, what did you think of the movie? Um, the movie was a great one, except the Bond girl. Yeah, I yeah. think that sums up your <laughs> thoughts perfectly. Yeah. I'm super excited that you actually really thought this was a great one. Because yeah. usually this one is rated as probably Roger Moore's weakest, often. Oh. Um, it's not my least favorite of Roger Moore either. I think my least favorite is Live and Let Die, which is a fan favorite. But I, I'm glad that you enjoyed it that, yeah. th this much. There were like exciting stuff in it. Yeah. I was like all the way into the movie and you said to me, you have to react to it. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were so sucked into it, yeah. which is a good thing. So uh, a lot better than uh, Never Say Never Again previously, the unofficial Oh one. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think the bar wasn't too high, but we succeeded in that mission. I'm happy that it happened. Um, let's start with Bond's performance. Yeah. Um, what did you give? Four stars. Four stars once again yeah. for Roger Moore, despite his age. Um, I didn't saw he had like plastic surgeon <laughs> That's good. in his uh, face. Yeah. So, no. Did he look old to you? No. That's good, because people always complain about Roger's age in this film. It's like too too old, especially in the bad top, they always say. No, I think in the last movie, Octopussy, was it right? Yeah. He looked a lot, of, a lot older than this one. Oh uh, yeah, well, apparently the facelift helped to uh, <laughs> clean it up. Did you like what Roger Moore did with it? I mean, now you've seen all seven of Roger Moore's yes. Bond films. Just like the seven Connery ones you've seen, six Bond films and one unofficial one. So it's yeah. about time for a new Bond next time. It was um, a great last movie for him. Yeah. I think. yeah. I'm happy you said that because people always say it, it wasn't. So um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So, so seven films of Roger Moore. Yeah. Are you going to miss him as Bond? <laughs> was it enough? It was seven. enough. Yeah, yeah, seven. Seven films. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm. I'm. Sh I'm not sure if that record is ever going to be broken. Seven films with the same actor in the official series. Um, so who knows if that ever is going to happen again? We're going to move on to Stacy Sutton, the Bond girl. Now, I think you kind of already said it in the video, but what was your final <laughs> verdict? How did you like Stacy Sutton? <laughs> um, I gave her no stars. No stars for the first time in movie reaction history <laughs> in our format. She doesn't get a star. Just n not even yeah. one. Um, do we need an explanation of why you disliked her? I think it was pretty um, clear in the reaction. <laughs> but um, you want to mention something about her? Um, yeah, it was really bad. Um, she wasn't like a Bond girl for me. Um, the most Bond girls I saw would fight with him and not call for his help. And she's constantly, James! Yeah. James! She's constantly screaming, right? So. Yeah, it was like more damsel in distress than a Bond girl. There are weaker Bond girls in general that don't fight. And usually they have brains. She's supposed to have the brains. But was it believable? <laughs> no. A very suggestive question, of course. But I, I, I don't think so. It's like when she was reading all of the geological stuff. Yes. It's like she's just, she has a script on the table. And she's just like reading. <laughs> it, it, she doesn't. She doesn't. But it's almost, Tanya Roberts isn't necessarily the most convincing. It's like Denise Richards. But then worse. Oh, uh, yeah. I think if the other... Girl, I don't know what's her, what's her name. Grace Jones. Grace Jones. If she told it, that uh, all those difficult words. Yeah. Maybe I believe it. <laughs> yeah, and she's not supposed to be smarter. She's just no. supposed to be muscle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, fair mm. enough. No stars for mm. Stacy no, Sutton. It's, uh, it's, too it's, bad. <laughs> it's quite a coincidence because in my top 10 Bond girl video you will find in my ranking playlist, I mentioned her as my dishonorable mention. And I did not tell you no, beforehand no. that this is my least favorite Bond girl. I didn't say anything. No, and, until uh, the you, movie and then you yeah, saw it. You like agreed. It was irritating. It was, your, <laughs> it was your opinion as well, so it's not just me. Um, but moving on to, I think, a far better category in A View to a Kill, the Bond villains. What did you think? I gave them five stars. Five stars. So here's some big conversation here for that score. Yeah, this, I think it's the first time I gave the villains five stars. Um, I think I you did it in Indiana sure. Jones 2, The Temple of Doom. Oh, yes. Yeah. And but maybe... May, yeah, I think you may have given another one. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> but anyway, let's. this is about this, these mm -hmm. villains. So Christopher Walken as Mas, Max Zorin and Grace Jones as Mayday, the two main yeah. villains. What did you think of them? Well, he always plays the bad guy. He has, he has that face for it. Right. And um, I think they going to I think if you if you ask me tomorrow about the bad guys I already know who the bad guys are yeah these are memorable memorable yeah. yes and Grace yeah <laughs> she's badass she's, she's... but one thing <laughs> she doesn't remember <laughs> oh yeah that like was one how... point of critique like from 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 <laughs> From the from Paris, Paris chase to, uh, to the horse. Uh, yeah, she's like, wait a minute, he was the guy I in know Paris. Him, but yeah. I can't place him. Yes, you can, girl. Yeah. If someone is chasing you, you remember him. Yeah, I guess fans explain it like, well, she didn't really have time to look at him because she was running from him on the Eiffel Tower, and and in the streets of Paris, flying. Uh, well, she threw that um, fishing. Right. to him yeah so she would she have would the be time eye to eye with him yeah i guess he was focused on monsieur aubergine to kill him no uh, in the staircase yeah well, oh yeah then she also used to yeah fishing, she right? threw it like to him so yeah did you like her sacrifice in the end though yes to uh, to yes, um, when she's changed she's changed, she's changed yes. sides yeah I only missed like the middle finger to him. But it was kind of because this is a Bond movie, you can't really do that. No, but the only symbolism this, is like there. This. It, it is a big <laughs> F you to Zorin. Yeah. Like, you, you, don't, you leave me here, I'll thwart your plans. Yeah. And then she just kills herself. It's uh, really. Uh, I really thought cool. he loved me! Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, but it's such a, it's a cool character development, and it's you don't often see. Pure evil Bond girl switch sides yes. at the very end. Yeah. After she said that sentence, I, I thought he loved me. <laughs> and then James Bond, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, and there were more people he double crossed. He just started shooting yeah. everyone. What did you think of any more comments on Max Zorin? Obviously, you said he, he always well, plays he like the villain. Psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, yeah. I think. Yeah. And also the horses. I, I hope they didn't like injured any horses in this movie. I don't think so, no. Moving on <laughs> to the locations in A View to a Kill. I yes. think some very iconic, brilliant locations. What did you think? Um, beautiful. It's the UK, London, Paris, San Francisco. An opening in Siberia. Oh, yeah, in Siberia. Supposedly. Yeah. Um, what, what rating did you give the locations? For every location, one star, so four stars. Four stars, okay. Yeah. What did you think of how the locations were used in this film? Well, it was beautiful because you saw the Eiffel Tower. Right. So you know it's in Paris and they filmed inside the Eiffel Tower. Exactly. And also on the Golden Gate Bridge, yeah. San Francisco. So. Uh, there are not a lot of movies where you see that they're fighting on the Golden Gate Bridge. Right, they're like, on, they use the landmarks yeah. of these yeah. two cities that, you know, they're not, you can tell they're in, in Paris because they're fighting on the Eiffel Tower. You can tell they're in San Francisco yeah. because they're on the bridge, so. And the uh, car chase was on the hills in, the, in San Francisco. Yeah, with you the, the fire trams, truck. Yeah. And also there was a there was a car chase in Paris with the taxi that oh, split yeah. in half. Yeah. 
when he was trailing the parachute of May Day. Yeah. Yeah, no, brilliant. <laughs> um, so, moving on to the story in A View to a Kill. Yeah. What did you think of the story this time? Three stars. Three stars, very yeah. decent. Um, did you notice this was kind of a recycled story of a From, previous... Uh, yeah, Goldfinger. Yeah, <laughs> in a different jacket. It's kind yeah. of the same... At least the villain scheme is very similar. Uh, what did you think of the story? A very good one. I'm glad. Yeah. What did you like about it? Um, oh, his, uh, his evil plan. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to blow up, uh, what was it? Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it started innocently enough with like the horse racing and, oh, yeah. and like figuring out what, yeah. what was up with the, with microchips. the microchips. And then it yeah. turned into something bigger yeah. where you wanted to have a monopoly on the whole uh, microchip market. Yeah. Okay. Three stars for the story. Three stars. And I think always the most important one, your enjoyment. <laughs> what did you think of, of you to a kill? How did you enjoy it? Yeah. Four stars. Four stars oh. again. I'm very happy. That actually, if you look at this list, you pretty much gave everything a high score if it wasn't for the Bond Girl. So that's what you say, that's the only weak link to this movie? Yes, too bad. Yeah. So If, if she was, was a, like a badass Bond Girl, I would give her more stars. But Yeah, no. that was the weak link. Yeah. Um, but that still brings your total score. Uh, of A View to a Kill to three stars. I'm very happy you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, any more last thoughts you want to bring out in how you enjoyed A View to a Kill or stuff we didn't mention before we finish off this video? Mm, uh, well, only too bad that that Russian girl wasn't that Russian girl I saw before. Yeah, because that's what I He yeah. said they fought and then he said like, Oh my God! Paula Ivanova. Yeah. Yeah. If she was like that brown yeah. hair girl. Yeah, Anya Omasova. Yeah. That would have been better. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, that's a girl! That's yeah. a girl! <laughs> yeah, that would have been a great cameo. Yeah. You know, that, and it would make sense that she would be competing for the microchips because they were yeah. they were competing for the microfilm in The Spy You Love Me too. Yeah. In the pyramids. So, um, yeah, missed I, it, I mentioned it as one of my missed opportunities in um, my video this Oh. That she, she should have been brought back, and it, it happens more often. Any, anything else? No, only one movie left, and then I saw everything, right? Yeah, uh, that's true. The Living Daylights, which is the first Timothy Dalton Bond movie, is the only Bond movie left that Lyrid hasn't seen. But you may be thinking, wait a minute, oh. are, are you going <laughs> to leave the other ones out? We're going to do a movie reaction to... All the other ones we've already filmed in the previous format, meaning License to Kill to Casino Royale. And she did not see Quantum of Solace, Skyfall and Spectre yet, but we pre-recorded those before No Time to Die. So those are also coming. Um, but... Siri, shut up. But, um, <laughs> do you think... Do you remember everything about the Pierce Brosnan movies and all the ones coming? No, I only remember, if you say it like this right now, uh, I only remember Waylin. Waylin, so this is the good thing. It will still <laughs> kind of seem like a first time watching with her anyway when we yeah. <laughs> delve into those. But next time, we'll say goodbye to seven Roger Moore movies, seven Sean Connery movies, one George Lazenby, and we move on to Timothy Dalton's first Bond film. Are you excited about a new Bond next time? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember anything about License to Kill, the other Bond film he did, uh, about how his Bond was? Or No, I only remember the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see next time in The Living Daylights, uh, Timothy Dalton's first Bond film, how Lyric is going to enjoy one of the greats, <laughs> I feel. See you guys in the next video. Bye.